it's time to quiz you on plants and trees so are you ready let me tell you about the rules of the quiz you will get 30 seconds to answer each question so i hope you all are ready let's start question number 1 how does a plant get water from the soil and your options are option a through stem option b through flowers option c through leaves and option d through root and your time starts now i will repeat the question quickly how does a plant get water from the soil a through stem b through flowers c through leaves and d through root so start clicking the right answer if you know think I'm sure you YC smart kids know the correct answer. 10 seconds left. Yes, you can do it. And 5 more seconds to go. And and your time is up. Let's find out the correct answer to this question. Yes, the correct answer is true root. Let me tell you some interesting facts about these amazing plants. Children Do you know that plants need water to grow? From the root, the water then travels to different parts of the plant to the stem. After using 5% of this water that travels up the root, plants release rest of the water into air to small pores in their leaves. And this process is called transpiration. Awesome. Let's move on to question number 2. Get ready. Question number 2 is in which season do leaves of plants turn orange or yellow and your options are option A in spring option B winter option C autumn and option D summer and your time starts now i repeat the question children in which season do leaves of plants turn orange or yellow A spring B winter C autumn or D summer and you have enough time so you can get the right answer and i'm sure you all know it so quickly think and give me the right answer 10 seconds yet to go and you can do it wonderful yc smart kids and your time is up let's find out who all could get it right and the correct answer is in autumn season yes autumn season is when the leaves of plants and trees turn orange and yellow let me tell you some cool facts about this autumn season in autumn the leaves actually stop making food hence the green color of the leaves disappear and the yellow and orange colors become more visible this happens mainly because of change in the temperature of the day and the length of the daylight okay let's move on to our question number 3 are you ready can plants be carnivorous and your options are a yes option b no and your time starts now i'm going to repeat the question for you can plants be actually carnivorous a yes b no come on yc smart kids Tickle your brains and get the right answer. This is something very interesting, and I'm sure you can get it right. You YC smart kids have 10 seconds left to go. Come on, everyone, get the right answer. And few seconds left, and your time is up, children. Don't worry if you couldn't get it right. You have more questions coming up. But before that. Let's find out the correct answer and the correct answer is yes some plants are carnivorous so kudos to all those who clicked on the correct answer did you children know carnivorous plants are plants which get nutrients from trapping and eating animals they are often called as insectivorous plants because they usually trap insects like flies honey bees butterflies they mostly eat these little insects all right let's move on to the num- question number 4 children time to get it right 
Don't worry if you haven't been able to so far. Question number four is, how can you tell the age of a tree? Your options are, option A, by counting the number of rings on the trunk. Option number B, by counting number of leaves on the tree. Option number C, by measuring the height of the tree. And last option, option number D, by measuring the width of the tree. And your time starts now. I repeat the question, how can you tell the age of a tree? A, by counting the number of rings on trunk. B, by counting number of leaves. C, by measuring the height of the tree. And D, by measuring the width of the tree. You have 15 seconds to go, YC Smart Kids. And tickle your brains, get your thinking hat going, and give me the right answer, because I know you can do it. Yes, few more seconds left. Come on everyone, you can do it. And your time is up. Don't worry if you couldn't get it right. Let us find out the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer is you can tell the age of a tree by counting the number of rings on its trunk. Okay, let me tell you something interesting about the age of a tree. These rings that you can see can tell us how old the tree is and they are actually called as the growth rings. The light colored rings represent wood that grew in the spring or early summer and the dark rings represent wood that grew in late summer and fall time. One bright light ring plus one dark ring equals to one year of the tree's life amazing way to calculate age of these amazing trees. Awesome! Let's move on to the last question of the quiz. Your chance to redeem yourself. What do trees remove from atmosphere? Question number 5. And your options are Option A. Oxygen Option B. Dust Option C. Carbon dioxide and Option D. Light and your time starts now. I repeat the question. Question number 5. What do trees remove from atmosphere? Please select from the below options. A. Oxygen. B. Dust. C. Carbon dioxide. And D. Light. This is very simple and I know YC Smart Kids already know the answer to this question. So come on and click on the correct answer. 8 seconds left to go. Wonderful. You all are doing great. Super job and your time is up awesome don't worry let's find out the correct answer to the question the last question and the correct answer is carbon dioxide so congratulations to all those who got it right good job YC smart kids let me tell you something about these wonderful trees trees give us fresh air and oxygen they help reduce pollution by absorbing the extra carbon dioxide from air. And it is important that we save trees and grow more plants and trees to keep our earth safe. And on that note, I want to congratulate all those who did a great job in the quiz. So, congratulations everyone and those who didn't, don't worry, don't lose your heart because there are many such fabulous quiz challenges coming up for you next. So I hope you enjoyed these wonderful questions on plants and trees and some of you got few right, some of you got all right. So congratulations and those who did, like I said before, don't lose hope, don't lose your heart because we will come back to you with many more challenging quests. So it's bye for now and congratulations once again. Bye children.